It's definitely not business as usual for me and the crew this year. Mornings were late and evenings were early. In this episode, we hunted a pothole loaded with ducks. It was a classic no-brainer pothole hunt, but with the front rolling through, it modified their mood just enough to make us work for them and me nervous. Next on the list was a small duck and goose combo with big results. Enjoy. Take one real quick picture. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Welcome back. Okay, so what's going on here is we spotted a little duck hunt first thing in the morning here. Just got permission on it, so we thought we'd come in, have a look. Sure enough, there's a couple hundred ducks on the pond. It was loaded this morning. A couple flights were coming in, so it's not spotted as well as we normally would. We didn't really put it to bed, but all the indicators are pointing that they'll be back. So we're gonna just slide in there now. Some of the ducks saw the trucks, they left. We can go set up and hopefully shoot 32 ducks tonight. Although the ducks kind of fed up on that side hill, we're just gonna try, we're gonna set up the upright blinds, give us some cover. Ideally, we could actually sneak in there and, and sit on buckets with uh, just our waders, but we're being lazy today. So we're just gonna hunt right out of the uprights and sit on buckets and have a good time. We're just gonna put up two spinners today. I like putting up more, but it is early season. We have ignition, so that's one. If this goes sideways, it's going to be a very strong case for why we always put hunts to bed. And we never hunt unless we put our hunts absolutely to bed. Hopefully, we don't have any issues tonight and the birds do it like they're supposed to. That would be nice. And if they don't, well, it's definitely my fault. Don't worry, guys. I don't need a gun. Well, here you go. Already loaded. Which one is this? Mine? I don't know. Could be. It is. <laughs> That'll work. Poor guides, nobody calls the shot. Okay, you can call it. Daryl? There's a couple. Okay, ready? Let's get him. So my lanyard's getting hung up and I don't like it, so I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna hook it right into this blind right here. And that's much better. Kill those two. Uh, you know what? Did you guys loop behind them? See how they've worked in a little nicer with some movement oh, on yeah. the water too? Like because the dog yeah, putting ripples out there? Even a robo right behind us would, yeah, no would help. Single, single. Coming in. Two, two. They're on the water already. Nope, nope, they're coming. Okay, coming. let's get them. Get them, get them. Nice. nice shot. Nice shot, buddy. Thank you. Good job. That felt good. That felt real good. <laughs> oh, look at him getting up off that pothole behind us. Yeah. Holy. Deep puddle, deep puddle. Yeah. Good boy, here. Oops. And if they don't, well, it's definitely my fault. My, my, my fault. My fault. Maybe that's the show. But I couldn't see that pond. Could be now. Well, <laughs> might not have been. They before. fed here, right? So I mean, ducks right up front in the hole. <laughs> Let's kill them three. <laughs> nice. <hit. laughs> Claudio, you got a box of those heavy hammers over there? Yep. Thank you. Jeff and I were sharing a box here. That's fun. Let it down. Three fell in that. Heel. 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 
<laughs> Yo, what if we give them a bigger hole? Like yeah, just we could try. Two pods of decoys. There's a lot of, a lot of space, but we can try it. Well, I like giving them a big hole, two pods. Well, I'll go move some right now. Single coming in hard on the left, though. Single, oh, single, single right here. <laughs> Kill that single. If it's away from the motor, shoot and make it so he's not out there. Yeah. All right, I'll come help. Yeah, let's just give him more room and tighten him up a little bit. That duck's up behind him now, Daryl. Give him less to look at. Try that. Or we got to make a move because we're not going to. I, yeah, and burn it up, right? Like, yeah. I know I did a couple early season cattail hunts like this. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, right here, right here, right here. Move it. Kill him! On the right! Too late for that one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Might as well kill that single. Or wait for this pair, wait for this pair. The pair? Yeah. Get the pair! And then Drake! Might as well kill that single. Or wait for this pair, wait for this pair. Yeah, get the pair. And then Drake. So the ducks now, we got a little bit of cloud cover. Rather than puddle they wanted to feed, we just wanted to do a pothole shoot. So I took a robo duck, and because they're looking for feed, they're not looking for ducks in the water. They're actually looking for ducks in the peas. This is where they fed. So that last duck came right over. Jeff shot it 10 yards off his gun barrel, targeting the just a one robo duck in the dry ground on the peas. Crazy. Crazy. And it'll also keep these ones on track that are coming. Watch this. Just to change the whole game here. So hover right over a stretch. It's totally different. You want to kill him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh man, we were bad on that one. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even get up. He was like, Ping! There we went over there. I'm we're like, gonna yeah, kill him. I kicked the door open and Daryl was jumped. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was good. So, what's actually happening now, which is perfect, we got the robo duck behind us. They're coming, they're approaching, but now they're keeping on track. And I've been doing this for years. Uh, normally, what I'd have with me, and we have a whole trailer, we just didn't, you know, don't have clients. So, due to COVID, I'm making excuses. But, anyways, we have one robo duck behind us and it just keeps them on track and they're going to drift right over the blind and we'll shoot them. So it just, their attitude changed instantly. And if even we'd have had 30 silhouettes back there, it would have been, would have been way better. We thought they were maybe seeing us or the camera and, and they're, they weren't. They're just, they're just wanting to feed, not puddle. And that's that. Kill that pair. Oh, you got the third one. Yeah. Nice. Due to COVID, we're at 22. 10 to go. Those two in. <laughs> All right, let's get them. Let's get them. Shoot left, shoot oh. left. You got him? No. <laughs> oh, I pulled the trigger, it was nothing. Oh. I'm like, same thing. I had two in, I didn't I had three in there, but. That time, every time I went to pull the trigger, it was like poof, poof, and it wasn't me. How many did we get out of that? Three or four, huh? At le yeah, three there. Yeah, at least three. And there's one on land there. Right to left. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Drake's in the back. Two right there. Get him. <laughs> we need another box of shells. Yeah, but that one Thank had you. a green head. That's why I was aiming at it. I couldn't shoot because I'd have hit a hit shot dead barrel. <laughs> dead. Come on. <laughs> Guide bloopers. Oh, he 
tip them over. <laughs> These two laughing their butts off in here, so I got out the shot. <laughs> I've never heard you mess up a duck call before, but that was classic. Kill that greenhead. Get him on the left here. No? Don't want him? Long color. Turn around, turn around. Coming back behind us, turn around, behind us, guys. Okay, turn around, get rid of Jen. Right behind you, Claude. Yeah, kill those two. You missed! You missed! Mesh, 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 mesh. Well, I got one and two. They were cooking zero goes. They're too close. <laughs> they were. I know. It was like shooting a wad that big at him. Oh, well. So here we go, boys. Let's get him. Get him. Left side. Come on. Bow your head in shame. <laughs> My nut barrel's getting hot. It hurt my hand. <laughs> Shoot him, Claudio. Right Scra side. Scratch that. Right side. Right side. Right side. It was far. You air braked him. was far. These puddle hunts are actually unbelievable in the mornings, um, but they're over so fast that filming them becomes very, very difficult because by the time the lights come on, and if you don't shoot them early, they'll just re-establish another pothole and then it's done. So we've been hunting afternoons and having a great time. And... Kill him. There he is. That's it. Done. That felt good. All right. Let's count them up. That was pretty easy. That was 32 ducks in no time. Barrel's, uh, barrel's hot. Heavy hammer. Right there. Whack them close. Whack them far. I like it. Another nice evening in Alberta. Nice and close to the lodge. We'll go back, have a meal, and uh, clean some birds. <laughs> Something we don't normally have to do ourselves, huh? Now we gotta go back and do birds, and like Daryl said, it's something that we normally don't do not do. We're not very good at it, but we'll get them. Well, that was pretty cool. It wasn't, you know, flocks of 50 and 100 in the blocks, but fives and sixes was good, eh? Yeah, not bad. It was still a good evening out. Uh, pretty quick, too. We got one lined up and right out <laughs> in the field right away, so. Yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting, because I saw this on the way by, and I saw this for about 14 seconds, and then Chad actually called and said, hey, they're out there. And then I called the landowner. He says, yeah, go ahead. And then he goes, oh, hang on. We got friends coming. And then he called me back and said, no, friends aren't coming. You know, and, and I said, okay, awesome. Well, can we hunt? He says, yeah, get in there, right? So we came in. There's some ducks on it. And, and you know, we set up. And ideally, if we just set a field rig, we'd have been yeah. done a lot faster. But shooting a pothole is awesome, you know? Four yeah. friends? Which way to do it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. And the best. Most thing. expensive duck hunt I've ever gone on. <laughs> yeah. Because you bought the ammo. Yeah, well, that yeah. too. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I like that Jeff goes, but the ammo's free. I go, it's not free, Jeff. It's freer for some of us than others. <laughs> it's free to you. Yeah, that's right. That's awesome. How do I get a job like that? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's volunteer work. <laughs> yeah. Right on. All right. Uh, thanks, buddy. Okay, thanks. right on. It's a wrap. Cool. All right. Might as well throw these in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, there was about 15 or 20 ducks feeding pothole right up against the pea field that they had just cut. I wanted to come by this morning to have a look. Look at this. Look at that. There's like, there's got to be, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight hundred in there. Real nice. Couple geese. So that's how quick they can grow. You know, migration coupled with good, good resource and food and water, and boom, there they are. Yo, 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 J Mo, how are you? Good, good, good. Good. Um, have you have you talked to Jeff? Yes, sir. And he says, uh, yeah, a couple thousand ducks, and there was a lot yesterday morning. Uh huh. And uh, 
about a hundred geese, he said. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. So, what we got is a cut pea field with lots and lots of ducks. ducks. There's the boss man right there. Hello. Hey, there you are. How are you? Good. We're filming here. No, we're not filming. Yeah, I am. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. What's going on? We're heavy 200s, though. Okay, who's coming? I never knew it, but Mike hunts too. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah, Mike and his son, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so that's five of us. Perfect. Okay? Yeah. I like it. And it's mostly ducks, you said? Mostly ducks. There's a few geese, and I just watched the geese leave. They went way to the south, so they're, they're long far. Well, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Bye-bye. They might have got kicked off another piece of water and they're not ready to feed yet, maybe. Really, really funny night though. It was high wind and then, you know, the, the birds would come in and of course we come out to shoot and they fade and they go from 12 yards to 45 yards like that. Finally, dang. Made some nice long shots. I'll tell you what, the, that heavy hammer again, you know, we're doing this heavy hammer challenge. I wonder if we're gonna shoot heavy hammer all year. <laughs> That heavy hammer hits him and it hits him hard, which is nice, especially under these conditions. Watch, hold on, hold on. It's all right, Jay. On the right, all right, get ready. In the hole, right in the hole. Go. Was our shooting great? Yeah, I wouldn't say it was great tonight. Yeah, see how they correct me more to the left side now? That bit of an adjustment, I created that little hole. Oh, look at this. Okay. Um, they're ready. 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 Watch those low ones. Watch yeah. the low ones. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come. All right, go. On the right. Ooh, that was a far oh. shot. Oh, that was a nice shot, Jamo. The early flights, it looked like they wanted to puddle, so, you know, they're kind of ignoring us. <laughs> yeah, they're coming, guys. All right, let's not, let's not diff this one. Right out front, right out front. Oh, right front, right here, here they come. Right here, there you go, pitch it, pitch it. Go, 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 go! Oh, all three. Nice shooting, boys. I know one thing, I did not contribute. <laughs> I missed totally. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Leave these two. Let's let, let Jay call it. Jay. Get ready, these two, yeah. Okay. Okay, go. Go, go. And then, of course, those last four or five flights of the evening, I mean, it's just. On the left, you guys. Wow. Go! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, she go. Go! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, she go. Okay, that was like 12 yards. That's dirty. <laughs> ready? Oh, okay. ready? Get ready? Get ready? Get ready? Go, 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 go! That was a bit better. I mean, it was just covering us up. The wind, you know, laid down a little bit and then they just started doing it. Ready, get ready. Go, go. I 
did not do so good that <laughs> no, time either. We tweaked the decoys enough throughout the, the, the afternoon and the evening, you know, making those little changes, and then all of a sudden they started doing it right in the hole, and it, we ended it on two real nice flights, which is nice, and oh yeah, these ones want it. What about these? Uh, no. Wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, big flight. wait, wait. wait. On the right, on the right, get ready. Oh, on the right, get ready, get ready. Let him pass. Go, 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 go! Hit him. That was <laughs> better. <laughs> Much better. They add up real quick when they start. You start dumping four, five, and six. What did he say? Well, okay. 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. 5, 26, 27, 28. Lots of birds coming, Claudio. Okay. Right on top of you. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, let's, let's make this pretty, guys. Get ready. Get them in tight. Get them in tight, J-Mo. All right, get ready. Get ready, boys. Get ready. And go, 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 go. Oh yeah, there's another one that just went down right there, boom. Four, five, They're done. Six. Really cool because we had uh, one of the landowners who had been hunting this stuff for 15 years. I met him once a long time ago. And then uh, I know Jeff had taken his, his son out. So it was good. I got sitting in, uh, in the blind tonight with Mike and John. It was it was a lot of fun, you know, and just, you know, no real pressure like we do when we have clients. And it was just nice to be able to get out and shoot. Just another day at the office. Uh, it was, ended up being a great hunt, you know, we didn't have a, a lot of geese, but uh, we shot a little bit of ducks, and anytime you do that, I think that's pretty good. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, it was good. It was good, yeah, it was, it was fun. Good job spotting this one, Jeffy. Okay, we're gonna take one real quick picture, and we're gonna wrap it up.